Welcome to News Unboxed, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more breaking updates. Tonight, we're diving into a story that could reshape the 21st century as we know it, a story that's unfolding in labs, boardrooms, and government offices across the globe. At the heart of this drama is the race for the world's most advanced computer chips, a competition that's become as fierce as any in history. These tiny silicon brains power everything from your phone to your car, from the servers that run the internet, to the satellites orbiting above us. For decades the US and its allies held the lead, setting the pace for innovation and controlling the most critical supply chains in the industry. But in early 2025, China stunned the world by announcing chips at the 2 nanometer and even 1 nanometer scale, a leap many thought impossible without Western technology. This wasn't just a technical achievement, it was a bold statement that the old rules no longer applied. This breakthrough wasn't just a technical upgrade, it was a declaration of technological independence, shaking the foundations of global power and sending shockwaves through financial markets and political circles alike. The outcome of this race will affect the price of your electronics, the security of your data, and the balance of global power. It will determine who sets the standards for the next generation of technology and who gets left behind. China's breakthroughs are more than scientific. Their strategic moves in a high-stakes game for control over the future, with every advance carefully calculated to shift the global balance. In this report, we'll break down how China did it, what it means for you, and why the world is watching with a mix of awe, anxiety, and anticipation. We'll explore the history, the innovations, and the global consequences for tech giants and nations alike, tracing the journey from the earliest silicon wafers to today's nanometer marvels. This is the story of a revolution measured in nanometers, with an impact that will echo for generations, shaping economies, societies, and the very way we live. Let's see how the chip war just changed forever, and what the future might hold in this new era of technological rivalry. To truly grasp the shockwaves caused by China's 2025 breakthrough, we need to rewind and understand the long, complex history behind the global chip industry. For decades, semiconductors have been the ultimate global product, innovated and designed in the United States, manufactured in high-tech Asian foundries, and finally assembled into devices in China. This intricate supply chain powered the digital revolution, connecting continents and economies. China quickly became the world's electronics factory floor, churning out everything from smartphones to laptops. Yet, for its most advanced technology, it remained heavily dependent on foreign-made chips and expertise. Recognizing this dependency, Washington saw an opportunity for leverage. In 2019, the U.S. government tightened export controls, aiming to block China's access to the most sophisticated chip technology and equipment. The goal was clear slow China's rapid rise in artificial intelligence, 5G networks, and supercomputing by cutting off the supply of the world's most advanced chips and the tools needed to make them. U.S. policymakers believed that without Western tools, software, and know-how, China's progress would stall and its ambitions would be contained. For a while, this strategy seemed to work. Chinese tech firms struggled to source critical components, and the world braced for a new era of technological decoupling between East and West. But Beijing was quick to respond. The Chinese government launched a massive campaign for self-sufficiency, pouring billions of dollars into research, development, and homegrown innovation, determined to close the gap. What began as a trade dispute soon escalated into a full-blown technological arms race, with both sides racing to out-innovate and outmaneuver the other. The world's two largest economies were now locked in a high-stakes battle for dominance over the future of technology, with global implications for security, commerce, and innovation. And as the race intensified, China's resolve to break through and achieve technological independence only grew stronger. The U.S. strategy was straightforward, control the choke points that mattered most in the global tech race. By focusing on the most critical links in the semiconductor supply chain, America aimed to shape the future of technology itself. American firms held a near monopoly on chip design software, the brains behind every advanced processor. Meanwhile, the Dutch company ASML was the only source for the world's most advanced EUV lithography machines, complex tools essential for manufacturing the tiniest most powerful chips. By restricting China's access to both the software and the hardware, the US hoped to freeze China out of next-generation semiconductors, keeping the most advanced technology out of reach. 
export controls grew tighter, blocking not just finished chips but also the tools, materials and even the expertise needed to make them. The message was clear, the path to the top would be guarded at every step. Chinese foundries like SMIC were suddenly cut off from EUV machines, which are seen as absolutely essential for producing anything below 7 nanometers, the cutting edge of chip technology. Western analysts believed China had hit a hard ceiling. They could still make mid-range chips for cars and appliances but not the ultra-advanced processors that power artificial intelligence 5G and the latest smartphones. The world watched as the US appeared to lock in its technological lead, confident that its grip on the supply chain would hold. But China wasn't content to simply copy Western technology. Instead it set out to invent a new path, investing heavily in research, talent and homegrown innovation. The sanctions became more than just a barrier. They became a rallying cry. Chinese engineers, scientists and entrepreneurs were determined to rise to the challenge and prove they could compete on the world stage. The stage was set for a high-stakes technological showdown with both sides racing to define the future of global innovation. And as the world watched, China was about to change the rules of the game, forever altering the balance of power and technology. The first crack in the wall came in February 2025 when Peking University announced a breakthrough in chip materials. As silicon chips shrank, they hit quantum limits, electrons leaked, wasting power. The Chinese team ditched silicon, using a two-dimensional material called bismuth oxyselenide. This allowed them to build GAFET transistors. Think of it as a super-precise dimmer switch for electricity. The result? Chips up to 40% faster and 10% more efficient than the best silicon processors. Professor Peng put it bluntly, the West blocks the old road, so we're building a new one. China wasn't just catching up, it was changing the game. By innovating with new materials, China aimed to leapfrog the West's silicon-based dominance. The chip war had entered a new phase with China paving its own technological highway. The world took notice. In April 2025, China tackled its biggest bottleneck EUV lithography. For years, China couldn't buy ASML's EUV machines, seen as essential for advanced chips, then, a Chinese team led by Lin Nan developed a domestic EUV light source, the heart of the machine. This was a feat of reverse engineering and innovation, breaking the West's monopoly. While not yet a full production machine, it shattered the assumption that EUV tech was out of reach. Now, Chinese foundries could soon build their own 2 nanometer capable machines. This breakthrough threatened to unravel the entire US strategy of technological denial. Companies like Huawei could regain access to cutting-edge chips, challenging Apple and Samsung. The development wasn't just technical, it was a geopolitical earthquake. China was closing the loop from research to production. As if new materials and EUV weren't enough, China dropped a third bombshell, the world's first 1 nanometer microprocessor. This wasn't just a lab demo, it was a working chip, ready for pilot production. Crucially, it didn't use Western-controlled architectures like ARM or x86. Instead, it ran on RSC Vi, an open-source standard immune to sanctions. This move broke free from U.S. intellectual property, inviting global collaboration on China's terms. The 1 nanometer RSC V chip proved a sanction-proof, high-performance tech stack was now real. China's trifecta, new materials, domestic EUV, and open-source design, formed a complete independent solution. It wasn't just a loophole, it was a new system. China had engineered a parallel tech universe, the global balance was shifting. These breakthroughs threatened to upend the $600 billion global chip market. If China can mass-produce advanced chips, demand from giants like Huawei and Xiaomi could shift inward, hitting TSMC and Samsung hard. Apple's edge, first access to the best chips, could vanish if Huawei matches or beats its performance. US sanctions meant to contain China, may have sparked the very independence they feared. The world could split into two tech spheres, US-led and China-led with incompatible standards. Your next phone might work in one region but not another. This splinter net risks stifling global innovation and fragmenting the tech world. For consumers, prices may drop, but the future could be more divided and less stable. The stakes have never been higher. China's breakthroughs are real, but scaling from lab to mass production is a massive challenge. Making one perfect chip is hard, making millions reliably is another level. Chip fabs cost billions and require hundreds of specialized tools working in harmony. China must master this entire ecosystem, something that took TSMC and Samsung decades. Yield is everything, even small defects can make production unviable. 
scaling up new materials like bismuth oxy selenide is often harder than inventing them. The success of China's chip revolution depends on solving these gritty engineering problems. Still, the political will and resources behind this push are enormous. Even if mass production is years away, China now has a viable independent roadmap. The West's strategy is on the clock. The question is no longer if, but when. The world is watching China's next move. We're witnessing the dawn of a new global tech cold war. China's 2025 breakthroughs have redrawn the battle lines, creating two parallel tech ecosystems. The era of a single integrated global tech economy may be over. Western policymakers now face a choice, double down on sanctions or invest in leapfrog innovation. The decisions made now will shape alliances and power for decades. For all of us this is a reminder, the ground beneath our feet is shifting fast, the technologies we rely on are at the heart of a fierce global struggle, staying informed is essential, these forces will shape the world our children inherit, the race for the smallest, fastest chips is about power, independence, and the future. The next chapter is being written right now, and its outcome will affect us all.